Hi, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on and have a seat for some symbolic support, we're here for Libra today. Libra, we are going to create an ink blot made in your name and essence that we are going to scry for shapes and symbols that may speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We'll also add on to her an oracle and where, oh, sorry, normally I have a gift here, but we're plunked down in my living room for a little bit. Uh, ghost to kicking for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further inspire or irritate. Overall, please do receive a release freely. Libras, your two oracle cards that came up, and uh, sorry about the lighting, again, we're in the my living room, bring it into form and the power of attraction. So I don't know if that may set the stage for your reading and our scry story, but when you're ready, let's dig in. Flames. All right. So if you're new to me here, I create in the name of Muses. And Libra, we are creating a portal to perceive in less a masterpiece. Thank you for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. The link will be below if you're interested in the extended single style or if you'd like to join the Secretur Society membership to receive all extendeds as well. But you do, just an offering. All right, Libra, I hope you guys are doing well. Whenever you receive this, when you're ready, if you'd like to join me, let's close the eyes. Jesse. Closing the eyes, cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush, activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name in honor of the Libra Collective. Libras, thank you for being my muse and may you meet a message with meaning. Your reveal. Oops, a little bit sideways. There we go. You can take a look for a moment. I'm just gonna close up my inks here. You know the drill. If you see, sense, or feel anything, any shapes or symbols that are speaking, please feel well to comment below, drop an emoji, uh, whatever feels good to you in the interactions with the channel is appreciated and while i'd like to rush through for all the you know attention and entertainment but try and slow it down here take it in zoom in zoom out you can even take a screenshot so that you can scry on your own time and terms for other shapes and symbols okay um Sorry, I'm okay. Let's let's just dig in here. I'm distracted. I'll get to the inks in a minute. Uh, two two turtles talking. Two turtles talking. There's a commitment. There's some sort of. It feels like two loops of the infinity sign are coming together through this connection. Whether it's of oneself Stop. or another, I'm not really sure. But I feel like this is coming together. It feels like it's been slow. I'm seeing snails up here. But there's something about slow spirit. No energy. Maybe it feel. Maybe there's no energy. Or maybe it's towards something. The connection of a career. The connection romantic. The connection platonic. Something feels really slow. And maybe you've been feeling or some somewhere out in your aura. It's like, I don't have energy for this. Maybe there's things going on. Now, the turtle and the snail are both slow. However, they definitely have longevity. So that's what's standing out to me. My right wrist is tingling right in about here as well. I'm Okay, sorry. There's also something else coming through. I'm seeing a... Do you know what it makes me feel like? It feels like in some weird way, like I just, I'm taking the garbage out and I get into a conversation with the neighbor or somebody walking by, the garbage person, whatever the case may be, a complete stranger that happens to be around there and need directions. But it's like I'm taking out the garbage or taking out the trash and something happens. I don't know what it is. Like it just, it feels like this very mundane thing brings about this interesting conversation maybe it is with a neighbor I'm not really sure but it feels well lit 
so nonetheless, what, whatever the connection is, romantic, platonic, personal, professional, even though it might have feel slow, it's like two ends of the infinity sign coming together. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Okay, so there's also, what is this sound here? This is, whatever this is, it's like, a, it's written in the book. And even writing a book takes time. It's not necessarily a quick process or uh, completing a task. Sometimes it doesn't happen as quickly as we would like it to be. Maybe this is in, in a reflection of or um, what's cause and effect. It, and it's almost like the it might be, you might feel like you're losing steam or something along that lines. You're like, you know, what, I'm just I'm just gonna take the, take the garbage out, and I'm just and maybe that's symbolic along with the snail and the turtle. There might be those symbols might be standing out to you specifically, but there's something about longevity. I don't know how else to say that. Something about longevity. I feel like I just heard a weird sound over here. Um, and it's been written, it's been written, but maybe there's been some addendums or editing or something along that lines. It's like whiting out because I'm seeing one of those old fashioned like white out things and taking out some lines or some words to, I'm confused. to, to clarify what I want, what's staying in, in the proverbial house or the symbolic house of your mind or your heart and what's being taken out, donated or trash. But I specifically see it as a trash bag. And then down here, it's almost like these, um, what are those things called? Mm, horses, those horses. Thank you. I'm seeing like hubby's garage. And so he could I don't know, do long things on their side. The horse, I think they're called horses or like maybe a frames or something along that lines somewhere in there. Because I almost feel like I'm trying to do this as well. Like hold open my eyes. I might be over exhausting myself a little bit. It's how it feels. But I'm. Did I just put ink all over my face? It's fine if I did. <laughs> you know like having like sticks to hold up the eyes. Libras. And then I just like heard the librarians. Libras for me are the librarians. And then that book comes into play. Something about an, a new deal as well. A new deal. Okay. So thank you. Bringing it into form and power of attraction. Inmate. This right here, it feels like that. And this is like where I'm walking out to go take out the garbage or something along that lines. It doesn't have to be that. That's just the way I'm seeing it. It feels something really, really normal. I'm seeing, and you know how they say like feed the birds, but I'm seeing feed the fish, feed the fish, maybe something about fish tanks as well, or, you know, having like your TV screensaver on with fish, something that feels very soothing and I'm feeding the fish. Maybe you're thinking about getting fish. I'm not sure. Somebody else might be getting married. Congratulations. Sorry. I also moved my monitor over here while I'm just like plunked in my corner of my living room. Making it work. Making it work. Uh, but there we are. Okay. Uh, there is a golden babe here. A golden babe that's uh, being plunked down into manifesting in the material world. So Libras, I don't know if... You know, like some, they say it's like the black sheep or and then, and, or the golden child. I don't know if you feel like you are very, um, I'm going to say shiny, even though sometimes it's funny because sometimes I just feel like I don't, um, in the, in the grudge of it, but I feel like you have a very, or, or at least here, maybe you do feel invisible sometimes and that's what in the shadow space, but I feel like you're aura of your soul not the body necessarily maybe the emotional field aura is very golden with highly charged creative sacral energy because the way i'm seeing it you know is like 
having a baby Hammer. And, and putting them into the bathtub. And I don't know if the baby or toddler doesn't want to go in the tub. So they kind of move their limbs like, Meh. and then, but you hold them and they naturally start to kick their feet or a dog. It's just something we, and the legs automatically start kicking. And that's what, I don't know how this makes sense about something. And now I'm really happy. So maybe there's something like in your, in your happy place or something Damn. that you want to do or create for your life, for your love life, for your career, for your, your day to day. Even I feel like I'm, I'm in the day to day tasks and how I want them to feel and flow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's keep going here. But I do feel like there's, um, I don't know if some of you like walked early in life or uh, always seem older than you really are or wise if, you know, older is a, th is a thing, but there's some sort of, okay, thank you. Knock. Uh, okay, hold on. I suddenly saw this card. I think it's like supposed to be little fairies, but do you remember when I said, the two, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the two pieces of the eight or the infinity as wings. But then I also saw them as suddenly like it's raining spiders. I don't. And this is like a spider web. I'm walking in a spider web. So leave a message and I'll call you back. <laughs> okay, sorry, I got distracted once again. Okay, sorry, walking on stilts is where I'm at here. Walking on stilts. Okay, I am... These creatures, they're very, they're very large. They are sitting. Some of you might go, have gone camping. I'm seeing like camping chairs or going camping. And if you can imagine with me... The way I'm seeing these two, I'm, I'm actually going to call them shadow guides. I don't know if that's a thing. Maybe it's your, your shadow aspect. Nonetheless, and because they're sitting here on this purple, very deep purple. Maybe it's like your intuition observing your very, you know, intellectual or physical life. Okay. I don't need to get into it. I'm sitting and I'm watching this. These two are watching this. Play, presentation, your life, like a film. Like I'm watching old TV shows or um, I don't know. Tape. For some reason, Love. my mind is just very much so in the liminal so linearly it just doesn't always work like videotapes of like you know past birthdays or something along that lines for some of you okay thank you you, you might be mm, compassion for if you're holding space for others to receive their parts of the scry story you might be a widow and you have established a new connection or considering a new love connection or companion connection and not it's, feeling it's well. like the grief is is viewing this i don't know if there's some guilt along with it at the same time i'm not that's not from your partner that has passed please know that feels very celebratory because it's like now i'm handing that um i told her sacral energy in the baby in that mm, symbolism there and wants you to have this new experience this love connection this creative life force inspired within you so and if it's like oh it's you know been five years two years or 10 years since I've been in this situation there's somebody in spirit that was your partner and I say was in density not in the fact that the connection has been severed it simply has changed forms and with this form card bringing into form they have actually helped this new connection come forward for you for you with the power of attraction 
Does that make sense? I hope that helps somebody who needed to hear that. So it's like, it, in a very compassionate way, it's like my grief or guilt can take a trash back, can take a back seat. Is that the trash I'm taking out? I don't know. I, and maybe that serves in other areas, but I'm going to keep going here. Libras, thank you so, so much. So I saw this when my eyes were closed as well. This, because there's a kiss here happening. Uh, can I bring it up with it? No, probably not. Let's get the scryacle out. Right here, there is a kiss. There it is. Big old smooch. And this is in the ethereal state now. So you are receiving, receiving from, okay, we'll start there. This person in spirit. For those that don't, aren't widowed, I feel as though you have an immense amount of Cousin. support from somebody in the afterlife. Okay, there's also somebody that their intuition is tapped in like a mosquito or maybe you feel like there's a mosquito bite on your intuition, like there's an itch you can't scratch. Is that the right way to say that? I'm not entirely sure. Is there an itch I can't scratch or something along the lines? The red garden, if any of the symbology stands out to you, please follow your own intuitions first as I tend to read the art. Why is he here? Okay, you know how like a pirate has a parrot on their shoulder? I feel like I'm not listening to something. This is just how I'm feeling. I'm not implying Libras you're not listening to something. This parrot, okay, but even the parrot has its, or this little bird has its uh, facing the other way. Okay, so what I'm getting is, is there something I'm, I've heard? intuitively and or intellectually now I'm looking around we're both looking around this parrot also the bird might mean something to you like a bird on your shoulder I think it has something in to do with this emotional field up here whether it's grief guilt or gratitude no it energy has something up there sleeping beauty's dream has come through as well okay so this is reaffirming for me if somebody does have a widow past and it's like this was supposed to be right uh wh what our dreams what our what our garden was and it's like now i'm looking like how do i start a new garden okay so i'm hearing very specifically bringing this new new garden into form it's not actually new there's a spirit guide in the spirit of somebody's who is a widow that is saying it's like there's it's, four. it's not or there's four of them there's, it's not a new garden. You know how to garden. You know how to cultivate and prune. The, like where you're at, what, what we have together, what, what we had together, is it's like so much work has already been done, so that this to help this be very effortless and easy. Because it's bright. It's it's it is. It's a bright future. Whatever this is for you. Uh, and again, it doesn't have to be for somebody specifically widowed, but there definitely is that side sidebar there that's happening. But it's I'm hearing it's related. It's related. Because even when I was seeing the garbage bags, I was seeing them as the glad garbage bags specifically. Like they can do the heftier things. and Hiding. Uh, this, that, or the other. I don't know. Maybe you hide certain strengths also about your intuition. There might be a little bit of a pressing down on it. What's the pressing down about it? Sorry, give me a moment. The art of seduction. Okay, so again, all these roses Run are in now. there. And this feels like this uh, love connection that was for somebody. Love connection towards what you want. It's like, are you dreaming about whatever this love connection is? Love for your job, love for money, love whatever the case is. Friends. And it's like, you might be a little protective right now with all of the shrubbery kind of hiding your home of your heart or your truest desires. And yet I kind of go looking. I feel like somebody might really resonate with this ca character, the clothing, the, the layers. But look at all these layers that are of lightness to this bloom. It's like you can't even see your own bloom because you are the bloom. 
So uh, with the power of attraction bringing it into form, this is like pruning back what's in my head. That's what that is. Pruning back what's in my head. Closing out messages for Librarians. But man, some of you might be really, really empathic. Yeah, see, there's something about when you're a kid that's right in there with that sacral orange. And orange for me brings in happiness. It's a happy scent. But I feel like at some point in time, there was something Related. that has happened that kind of made my orange my happy, my glad, my glad. Maybe it was thrown out um, or codependent on something. There is stipulations on my happiness somehow. And maybe you left a situation if this wasn't grief in the traditional sense of death and rebirth. This could be uh, being in a relationship that didn't work out. And maybe it wasn't healthy in some way, shape or another. And maybe you're recovering and recouping from that. Even if it's a job, right? And you're like, okay, I did what I need to do and but it maybe it just drained you. But there's all these layers of emotional intelligence. And I feel like this um, spirit smoke up here, it's I'm threading a needle. Can I get one more? I'm getting all these tickles all over me in your reading too. All these tickles. Yeah, we're right there in the uh, emotional space with Lorelei. So I'm up here. And see how I am, we're talking about threading the needle to this little boat. And it's like, that's the spirit trying to thread the needle. Feels really nice. I do feel like at some point in time I was like between a rock and a hard place or I felt I'm not trying to be dramatic because I don't know what it is. I just, I feel like the walls are closing in on me. But now, thank you. Sorry, I'm going to jump back. At some point in time, the walls were closing in on me, but this is where I'm at now, and it's opening up. And it's infinitely open. Infinitely open. White Rose of Hope. Infinitely open. And a long way home. And maybe at some, scared? at some point in time, maybe you thought your dreams, your what you wanted, what you desired, were so far away from you. Okay, but I want to note that your intuition, if you felt like, what was I talking about, that uh, a skeeter, um, or maybe there's like an itch or some, like other other people don't need to believe in your intuition, it's for, it's for you to help navigate, to help navigate, yeah, navigate, it's like knowing... Scratching an itch and curbing a craving. I don't know how else to say that. Anywho, it's it it's so light in here. I want to insert this card here. And it just kind of comes floating into you because of this. Some sort of night emotional nightlight that reminds me. Again, there's something about like height or uh, being taller, growing up fast, or maybe you had to grow up fast or something along that lines. I'm also seeing like playing the swing, the swing or skipping, sorry, a skipping rope, but it's like a swing. This is going to be like plopped in with, with your story. It's like writing it in. Where you anchor it is, for, is up to you. Because you have a lot of a long way, a long way home. Maybe some of you live far away from home as well. Or again, somebody has passed or your dream job might feel far away. I, something about that. Where was it? But there's something about what you're attracting to be very mindful of, of cleaning out any thoughts, taking out the trash, recycling. And then this one here. And it's like this, be, after the pruning of what you do, it becomes so light. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. No guilt. Uh, I can't say no grief, but in the grief, 
please know that you are being handed the peace that is felt from the person in the afterlife uh, whoever that might be for you side story acknowledging there absolutely is somebody's partner there is a widow uh, but for others this is your shadow guides and your or and or your birth guides they're they're just they're big please stop carrying guilt like in a trash bag carrying it around with you okay libras i'm going to carry on to the extended if you would like to join me i will see you on the other side one way or the other both links are below however you'd like to get there otherwise thank you so so much uh for this can you hear it i'm also sorry i'm also seeing um a koi fish and i don't know but i'm also seeing very interestingly enough pisces maybe it is a pisces or Pi somebody along the lines of pisces a fish bonker and this is something i think like my stepfather had years ago it was just like this i at least in our house it was like this little gimmicky thing this fish bonker this little baseball bat uh but I feel like this uh, koi, whatever koi fish might mean to you, is please don't like bat away, bat away your abundances. But again, there's something in the mind space about it. The emotional mind, I don't know how to clarify that. There it is, the emotional mind. Because it's something and someone's trying to come in. And there's a, a piece of peace, a piece of peace. And it's like this one little piece of peace, if I can show you, this one little piece of peace. It's, it's like the yin-yang symbol. It just needs one dot to balance out the whole shadow or the whole guilt. Or the, and I'm not necessarily saying the shadow it has is, you know, just guilt or grief or, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever that is for you, whatever you're working through in the hidden whatever you might be secretly thinking feeling or sensing intuitively in the heart space in the body body image whatever the case is allow the koi to come in and hand you this piece of peace and then it, it just starts to thread together okay i i yammer on so so much i apologize if you'd like to jump in for the flip we'll continue on if not until am next i time. dead bye <laughs>